other vitamin and mineral deficiencies. So let's talk about all the B-complex vitamins, again, can become deficient in certain things, like a gastric bypass surgery or something like that. So a real quick overview of some of the other ones. B1 deficiency. Now, B1 is thiamine. B1, the Roman numeral one, is an I. Well, the disease it causes is beriberi, which I think of as B-I-B-I. And so that's how I remember it. So it's important for neurologic long-track signs. And so basically you'll have neuritis and muscle atrophy and loss of detendin reflexes. You lose your vibration sense. You can have organic encephalopathy with this. And you can also have wet beriberi where you have cardiomegaly and heart failure with it. B2, riboflavin, basically results in chelosis and a sore tongue. And riboflavin, flavor, tongue. That's how I put those together. All right. B3 is niacin. Well, B3 causes pellagra. Now, pellagra is the 3D. So B3 causes the D3 disease. Pellagra is dermatitis, dementia, and diarrhea. The important thing to know here is areas where corn is the main grain, corn has insufficient niacin. And so that's where you'll have a high risk of seeing pellagra. B6, very rare deficiency. Basically, it's a metabolic disorder where they don't make it well and basically you can treat it though with high doses of B6. B12, cyanocobalamin, basically is absorbed in the ileum. You need it to make red blood cells. You have an increased mean corpuscular volume anemia with B12 deficiency. Since it's absorbed in the ileum, anybody who's had the ileal resection or disease in their ileum is at risk for B12 deficiency. For instance, Crohn's disease or somebody's had necrotizing enterocolitis in an ileal cecal region. Zinc deficiency. Well, zinc is involved in the DNA finger proteins. So any rapidly dividing cell line uses a lot of zinc. And so when you're zinc deficient, you're going to affect those areas. So there's a disorder of zinc uptake by the lining cells of the gut, the enterocytes, called acrodermatitis enteropathica. Basically, they have poor growth, they have diarrhea, and the big thing is they have hypogusia, they have decreased taste, and then they have a rash. The rash is characterized by eximitous lesions that are vesicular bullosing in nature. And they occur primarily around the mouth and the anus. I call it the in and out rash that people know about. And when you think about that, when you see that rash, you start to think zinc deficiency.